And this is going to be the release tutorial for the Mac R tractor. Uh, this is based off my Mac R dump truck. Um, one of the benefits of this truck is it's designed to be an off, uh, let's call it a, a work site truck. Um, it's based off a 1980s truck. So um, just like the dump truck, it does well um, off road. So with the dump truck, you can go through the tunnel. You can also fit through the tunnel up into the coal mountain. So let me quickly just fly over the tunnel so you can see. Um, if you've never been through this tunnel, this tunnel takes you up and into the coal mountain. And so um, one of the benefits of having a nice shorter truck here without a wind deflector is you can make it into the tunnel. Um, this is a TTIS tractor. So the TTIS is my tractor trailer integration system. It's a more similar based um, tractor and trailer integration system. And so um, you're going to need a TTIS tractor to use any of my TTIS trailers. Um, you can convert. Um, there is a tutorial of how to convert on, on my um, YouTube. Uh, and you can take the workshop mod and you can use the, um, the um, different modules that you need. Uh, let's go ahead and do a walk around. So have the same mirrors in the dump truck, um, same tanks. Um, again, you can these do cross feed. So like IRL, you would fill one and then you'd have to fill the other one. This one you don't. Uh, we have a hanging um, uh, light cord here. Uh, that's how it's done in real life. So one of these is dead. Um, this one is active. This one is dead. Um, so you want to grab from there. Um, again, you, dr you drive from the left, so you'd grab the left one. This is how it's actually done in real life. There's a plug here. It goes up through some springs and then hangs. And that way, as you turn, um, you don't want the, the, the cables or the, the light cord or the air lines to be um, too tight or they'll rip out and break the system. So um, this allows it to swing um, realistically. Have a drop axle. Um, to give us more um, ground pressure, so uh, for going off road, have um, two sets of dualies. We have our fifth wheel here. Uh, fifth wheel has an auto reset, so if I if I um, detach from a trailer, uh, the way it works in real life is you pull the handle. Then once you pull away from the trailer, the jaws open up, and then you can go and you can back in. And you can um, back right into a new trailer and connect. Um, in game, the way I have this working is you have 30 seconds to. Um, before this will reset. And then once it resets, you can go hook up to a new tra trailer. So this makes it so you don't have to get out, press the button, press the button again. Um, as you can see, it just resets. So that gives you time to go hook up to a new trailer if that's what you're doing. Simulated mud flaps here. Um, again, the collision here on these mud flaps is in the middle. So uh, these can drag on the ground and they're not gonna cause any uh, damage. Uh, we have all our lighting for our TTIS system. We'll go over that. Uh, exhaust stack, air in, simulated air intake. Uh, you have to select both of these buttons to open the hood like you would in real life. Opens up and we can see our engine in here. We have a Mac engine. We have my Eaton Fuller 10 speed in the back. It's a simulator. Um, it's a simulator quality build, so it's designed to operate as realistically as possible IRL. Um, and so let's go ahead and shut that hood. Um, you can you only have to press one to shut it, but um, Pressing two kind of simulates locking. Usually they're straps and you just strap and um, hook them there. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we have a fire extinguisher on the driver's side and we have a welding torch on the passenger side so that you can um, repair or put out fires. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump in. So we're gonna go ahead and start here. And I'm gonna show you one of my trailers that has all the features of this system. Um, the Slide 41 is one of my T-Test trailers you can use with this. The um, LC 51 and 53, which are, are which are both two container trailers that will hold two containers. Uh, you can use the um, frameless dump uh, 45 with this. Um, and then, I'm um, trying to think, there's a trailer I'll show you right now that is not yet released, which I will, will be releasing soon, that takes... Um, that allows you to use the PTO function. So a PTO is a power takeoff. You're taking power off the motor IRL and it turns off on a hydraulic pump. Hydraulic pump pumps the oil required to use hydraulic cylinders. So for example, a dump trailer. And so I'll show you how that works. So uh, we have engine temp, oil pressure, trans temp, and exhaust. Uh, engine temp's the only real one, the rest are faked. We have headlights. Let's look at our um, lights. This is TTIS again. So we have um, multifunction lights, so we have our running lights, 
Uh, left directional is one key, right directional is two key, three is my hazards. Um, if I press the brakes, as you see, we get bright lights. That's why I use RGBs. And then we can still do directionals with those bright lights on. If I go into reverse, we get reverse lights. Um, in America, at the very least, um, you only have reverse lights on the tractor. Uh, this is called a tractor. It's a, you know, when you say tractor trailer, the tractor is the power unit, the front unit, and the trailer is the part that connects to it in the back. So I'll often refer to this as a tractor. Um, the reverse lights are only on the tractor in the U.S. Um, we also have our dome light, little dome light there. When the headlights come on, we get a light underneath the floor. That helps illuminate the cockpit a little bit better. Sometimes it's a little bit overly dark at night in game. Um, we have our dump body, so I'll show you how to work this. This is that PTO system I was talking about. And then we have our drop axle. We press the drop axle, as you can see, they'll go down. And uh, you'd want to do that when you have a heavy load. Uh, we have tack and speedo, our key to start. Um, we have our manual 10-speed uh, transmission with a uh, movable um, shifter. So we're in neutral here when it's up and to the um, center. If we go up one with the up arrow key, it puts it into um, first gear. Second gear um, is right there. Third, I'm just pressing the up arrow on the keyboard. Fourth, fifth, and then uh, in real life what you do is you would flip a little button that's under here that would flip the gearbox over to the um, high range gearbox, and then you go to six, which is back at the first position, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now you can also walk this down Again, the way to know it, you're in rever in neutral is when it's in the center there. Um, so that's how you know it's in neutral. You're going to need neutral for uh, raising the dump body. If you go down from neutral, you get reverse one. Reverse is your low reverse. Press it one more time, you get high reverse. This is faster. So if you want to back up faster. So if you're if you're backing up a trailer, you usually want to be in uh, reverse, um, in low reverse. This is our TTIS panel, so we have trolley brake. Trolley brake activates just the trailer brake, so I'll show you uh, when you'd want to do that. Jake brake is an engine brake, so it turns the engine into a compressor. So it, this is good for when you're going down a hill um, in real life and in game. Um, in real life, it helps you save your brakes so you don't heat up your brakes too much. So uh, when you have your when you have the button selected and your foot foot's on the accelerator, or in, in the case of the game, um, your finger's on the W key, you have no brakes. Um, you have no jake brake. When you take your finger off the W key, the jake brake will activate. It will add some braking. Um, that simulates um, how it does it in real life, and it only adds uh, tractor braking. You don't get any trailer braking. Um, and so this allows you to go down a nice steep hill, like there are around the um, coal mountain here. And you can one, f you can essentially one finger drive. You can just tap W, and it will control your speed going down, and you don't have to slam on the brakes the whole time. Uh, next, you have your trailer supply. You'd leave this um, unilluminated um, when you don't have a trailer on there. In real life, you have a red one on the left. That's your trailer, so you'd press that. Um, air would go through. Um, that would release the brakes, the, um, the uh, park brakes on the trailer. And then on the tractor, you'd press that. That is yellow in real life, and that supplies air to the, um, the parking brakes on the tractor and that will um, release your brakes. So now we can go forward, let's press W that our brakes are off. So when they're lit up, that means brakes are off. All right, so we're gonna go just pull this out and I'm gonna put it, you don't have to put it in neutral, uh, it will automatically clutch, but um, I will put it in neutral um, just for the lols. Um, we'll open our door and go on out. I'll show you the mirror in a second. I didn't do that too. So let's go ahead and there's one special trailer for this. Um, the slide 41, um, that's been released in the workshop for a while. This is also a TTIS trailer now. It requires TTIS. If you go, if um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, uh, they, they say, I can't release the brakes. That's because you need a TTIS tractor to do that. So the slide 41's uh, one of them. You have the, um, where is it, uh, frameless. Frameless dump 45. This is another one. This is on the workshop. This is a big coal trailer. Um, you can use that one. Um, you can use this one um, as well. That's a uh, TTIS trailer. And then um, theoretically, you could use, I just released the um, slide 39. You could do that by hooking it to the pintle in the back. So a pintle trailer um, hooks to this section in the back here. So you could you could haul that as well with that. Um, 
And then the special trailer I'll talk to you about here is the high tip 45. And so the high tip 45 presently it needs the um, it needs this particular tractor because it utilizes the um, the PTO function. So uh, trailer's loaded in. The brakes default on on a TTS tractor, uh, just like real life. Uh, this is so that a trailer can't roll down a hill. This is so that if a forklift tries to go in the back of a trailer while it's parked at a dock, it doesn't push the trailer. So in real life, um, the brakes spring on, and the brakes are on when they're parked. And so that's uh, one of the reasons I made the TTS system. So let's get in. Uh, let's supply our tractor to shut off the brakes. Let's put it in reverse. I'm sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, let's go in reverse here and let's back right up. A nice thing about the tractor is we can see right behind us. So we're just going to go and it will grab. All right. And it grabbed a little violently there. I don't know why, but let's jump out. Let's put it in neutral and jump out so and set our brakes. And um, I'm going to go ahead and hook my light cords. You want to go from this left light cord, all right? So this one's where the power comes through. It goes through. This one's dead. So you want to grab this left side. And it's closest to you, so you should be grabbing the close one. As you can see how it hangs nice and loosely, um, there's a law in at least the United States that um, you're legally not allowed to have your lines rubbing on the deck plate here. And the reason for that is if you were to break an airline while on the highway, the brakes on the trailer would slam on and you'd cause an accident. So um, this simulates that. It also gives you a good amount of slack. I'll see a lot of um, trucks and trailers people make where the line is very tight because you can't set the amount of slack. This allows you to set slack so that it's realistic. Let's go ahead and raise the uh, landing gear up. Landing gear is all the way up. All right, so let's look at the lights. Lights are going to mimic the tractor because of um, the TTIS system. So I'll go through the lights again on TTIS. So uh, if I press the brakes, as you can see, we get bright, bright brakes. Um, I have all my directionals and everything. If I turn on my headlights, uh, you'll see I get, I'll shut off the brakes there. You see we have, um, we have running lights. Um, I'll fix the, fix the middle uh, clearance lights before I put it in the workshop. But we have brake lights and then the front, as you can see, we have clearance lights, uh, ambers. Right, I'm going to go ahead and shut this door. And um, so in order for me to release the trailer brakes, I need to supply the trailer. I need to supply the tractor. Let's go ahead forwards. And I'll show you why this is a special trailer for this particular tractor. Um, I'm going to update the TTIS system so that it has this PTO function. Uh, PTO, again, is power takeoff. And so the power takeoff takes power off the engine, turns a hydraulic pump. So the way this would work in real life is you would um, have a hydraulic line going from tractor to the trailer um, in certain circumstances. And so this is a high tip, HT45. Uh, the point of a high tip is it doesn't, the front doesn't tip up and have it fall out. The back tips up and there are belts in real in uh, real life high tips. They're used, usually used for agriculture. The belts under here turn and they cause the, uh, like a big conveyor belt and they cause the stuff to come out the top. I use this to load trains. So you'll see in some of the pictures in the workshop, it has me loading trains with it. All right, so what we'll do here is uh, we'll follow the instructions here on, so we can also put down our drop axle, as you can see. Drop axle goes down. Um, what we'll do here is we'll follow the instructions. Dump body, gear to neutral. Okay, so we want to put our gear in neutral. All right, and so if you can't find it, go all the way down to reverse. That's neutral there, but go to reverse, and then one up is neutral. Okay, that's the easiest way to find it. And then what you want to do is you want to turn the switch on. Switch is on. And then you want to raise above uh, 1K RPM. So as you see our tack. And the reason for this is the power is taken off of the engine. It turns a hydraulic pump. That pump sends oil out to the pistons. The pistons raise the uh, dump body. Um, so you can actually raise the dump body faster the more um, RPM you give it. All right, so let's start pressing W. That's going to start to raise our trailer. As you see, it pushes the trailer up, and it also opens that back door. So we're going to keep pressing until the back door is open. All right, so I will release this uh, at later, but this is why you need this truck for this trailer. Um, so now you can load into a train car. So this will dump right into a train car or another trailer, um, and that's based off real-life trailers. 
And then the last feature, so in real life what happens when you um, put down the button, it opens a valve, it allows the oil to run uh, from the cylinders. So there'd be oil up in this cylinder. Again, these are pneumatic, um, real ones would be hydraulic, but uh, there's oil up in the cylinder. The weight of the dump body would press down on the oil, giving it pressure. You open the valve, it allows the oil to come out through the line and back to the sump. And so it has a nice slow drop feature. So let's go ahead and jump in and let's press the button and look. And uh, you see the door closes first, and then it shut, It uh, drops the trailer. So it'll be door and then trailer. All right, and so let's um, just uh, move a little bit here with this. So uh, quickly show you the Jake break here. So we'll just go down this little hill. So again, this is a this is all. Um, I use this truck and trailer to load coal out of the mountain. I go through that tunnel, so this will fit through the tunnel. So if you need a truck and trailer combination um, to go through the tunnel this would this is a good one um, it has trailer has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I believe um, of these coal hoppers so um, you know this will also be the features video for the trailer as well so we'll come on down the hill here okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put on my Jake brake so if I let off the W key um, and I start going down the hill as I let off the W key it's automatically going to add some brake alright the other thing we want to look at here is the trolley brakes so right now if I press the space bar it's just going to activate the trailer okay and so this this becomes useful if you have a very heavy trailer and you're going down a hill um, and the trailer starts getting sideways like this what you can do is press the space bar and keep going forward with the W key and what you'll notice is the trailer will start to come back around you. So sometimes going down, the trailer tries to get ahead of the truck. And that's how you do it in real life, is if your trailer starts stepping out and try to come around you, you use a little bit of trolley brake, and it um, r slows down the trailer, and then you speed up the tractor, and it will straighten you out again. All right, and so just head on up this hill here. I need a downshift. I upshifted, and I meant the downshift. And I went all the way in reverse, as you can see there. And so, um, let's go back up this hill. I went all the way into reverse. And there is the, um, if you see over there, I still have my, um, my Mac R dump truck. And as you start, um, as you start lugging, you want to downshift like you would in real life. And you can take this heavy trailer full of coal up, up a hill, up a nice steep hill here. And then we can start to accelerate again. This functions like a real truck. Um, it functions like the real truck that I drive. Um, you know, every uh, every gear is set to the certain speed that it should be at. So um, that's the uh, Mac R tractor and the uh, High Tip 45. So it's kind of a combined little tutorial video for the two of them. Um, and they'll both be in the workshop. All right, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like, and if you haven't subscribed to my content and you enjoy it, please uh, consider giving it a, um, give me a subscription, and if uh, you look at the workshop and you see some of these, they'll be on there. Thanks, bye.